Sophia turned 50 last month with smiles and no regrets. We caught up with her in San Francisco and talked of her ongoing joy, motherhood, and of her latest works, a new book on beauty, and a new movie called Aurora, in which she co-stars with her youngest son, Eduardo. The recent film is a first for you in that one of the co-stars is a family member. What's it been like? When I started this one, it was like I was doing my first picture because I was uh, so thrilled and so excited like it was the first time. And because my son was in the film, Eduardo, and I felt so much responsibility that um, I really uh, try to keep calm and cool. But uh, the first day of shooting on the, on the film, uh, my son was so relaxed, because children are marvelous, they are miracles, you know. So relaxed and so much at ease, and he was the one who was reassuring me on the set, me, after so, such a long time of experience in films. I think he has quite a gift for acting. What was it about this movie that made you interested in it and want to do it? It's a very simple story about simple emotions and about a wonderful relationship between a mother and her son and this is this kind of pictures I like to see on the screen and this was given to me to do so that's why I did it. It is with a similar care that Sophia has written Women and Beauty a book designed to dispense more than the usual exercise and makeup tips. It's um, a more mature look to how and why a woman is beautiful and uh, this mature look depends very much on the qualities that uh, are available to us all uh, like charm, like kindness, like warmth, uh, like graciousness and that's what my book is about. How does it feel to be looked up to and admired by so many people? Oh, it feels wonderful because uh, it means that uh, in my life I've achieved uh, the affection of so many people and the admiration of so many people and I never take anything for granted. I mean, uh, I think that to be able to have what I have, it means that I worked very hard to have it and sometimes I sacrificed also part of my life to have it. In an article I read, you were quoted as saying you were born old and wise. <laughs> that was my autobiography. <laughs> um, that in some movies, here you were just a teenager yourself and in some movies you were playing mothers with teenagers and, and then... Well, my first film was two women uh, that represented my turning point in my career was two women. And uh, at that time I was uh, 25, 26 and I had a daughter of uh, 14 years old. So I mean... Uh, I've been a mother a great deal in my career <laughs> before I was a mother myself. Mm -hmm. She says she was born old, but with each passing year she seems younger and more vibrant than ever. As always, her children, Carlo Ponti Jr. and Eduardo, remain her true home base. Do you think you had a youth, a, a time when you could enjoy being a teenager? Well, now I have because I have two uh, sons. One is 15 and the other one is 11 years old. And uh, I really am now enjoying my, um, my childhood because I discovered with them things that I didn't discover then because I had to face the real facts of life. But now I have more time, I've worked, I've achieved a certain kind of success. I can relax and with them I discover the world and it's a wonderful feeling.